Stephen Curry's parents, Sonya and Del Curry, are separating after 33 years of being married, surprising the Golden State Warriors fans and anybody who believes in the notion of a happy, till death do us part marriage. Let's check out the video. Let's look into what's been making headlines recently. Curry's parents are said to be getting divorced. The Curry couple confirmed the divorce to People magazine on Monday after it was first reported by TMZ. Self Sonya and Del told the magazine after a year of exploring a trial separation and considerable deliberation that they have decided to call it quits under marriage. Their goal and wish is for the family's continuing happiness as this comes with a tremendous lots of sadness. They're incredibly grateful for all the numerous blessings and achievements and they will continue to be dedicated and supportive of their children and grandkids and will stay connected. Also, they want their privacy to be maintained and that their family be prayed for as they move forward. According to reports, which cites North Carolina court documents, the petition was filed in June and the divorce processes are still underway. There are no details on why Sonia, who is 55 years of age, and Del, who is 57, are divorcing. I mean, and they would sometimes fight. They would sometimes get in some rumbles on the court, so... Yeah. Del, what was that like? You watch they met as Virginia Tech student-athletes and married in 1988. Shortly after, Dell was selected into the NBA in 1986. He went on to play for the Jazz, Cavaliers, Hornets, Bucks, and Raptors until 2002, establishing himself as a good shooter. Uh -huh. I give you evidence. A little flashback there, Curry darting down the lane. You are never wrong in an instance where we'll admit it. Here's Curry with a bank shot. Heck with a jump shot, Dell just worked. And at Virginia Tech, Sonia was a standout volleyball player. Their first child, Stephen, was born in 1988. Seth Curry was born in 1990 and now plays for the Philadelphia 76ers. Seidel, their daughter, was born in 1994, and their spouse Damian Lee is an NBA player who plays with Steph on the Warriors. The Currys have indeed been prominent parents to Stephen and Seth throughout the ages. Regularly spotted rooting for their boys at NBA games, Sonya and Del sported logos from both clubs when Steph's Warriors took on Seth's Portland Trailblazers in the 2019 Western Conference Finals. The Warriors had defeated the Trailblazers in the season before losing in the 2019 NBA Finals against the Toronto Raptors. Although Stephen Curry's parents have accused one another for betrayal as they dissolved their generation law marital life, they are also part of a larger movement in America known as the Grey Divorce. People on social media weren't only curious about what had transpired, and they also wanted to know why the divorce had occurred now. After all, the Currys have been married for this long, raised three successful grown-ups, and have already become grandparents and established themselves as one of the sport's most well-liked couples. Let's jump right in, shall we? What does jump in mean? One solution to the first question might be found in the divorce papers, where each accused another for being unfaithful. Del claimed that Sonya had an extramarital connection, while she accused him of cheating on her with other women during their marriage. What's clear is that the Currys, like Bill and Melinda French Gates and Jeff Bezos and Mackenzie Scott, are not alone in their choice to divorce after a lengthy marriage. They're all part of a rising trend in the United States called as the Grey Divorce, which refers to divorce beyond the age of 50. According to the Pew Research Statistics, divorce rate among U.S. adults aged 50 and older also doubled between 1990 and 2015, at the time when divorce was becoming less prevalent among younger individuals. According to a study published in the Journals of Gerontology, more than one-fourth of all the divorced adults in the United States are over the age of 50. The number of elderly individuals in the second and third marriages contributes to this figure. When compared to the first marriages, remarriages are more likely to result in divorce. There has also been a social change, Members of the culture-shifting baby boom are far more accepting of divorce now than they were in the 1960s, according to research published in the Journal of Family in 2020. More than two-thirds of the individuals over the age of 50 believe that divorce is the best option for couples who are unable to resolve their disagreements. Experts claim that changing cultural norms and economic reasons are also contributing to the rising divorce rate among those 50 or over. In an op-ed for the Los Angeles Times, Susan L. Brown, chairperson for the sociology department of the Bowling Green State University, said that marriage should provide not just stability and security, but also self-fulfillment and personal happiness to Americans. If a relationship isn't satisfying, many couples find divorce to be an option worth considering. According to Stanford University sociology professor Michael J. Rosenfield's research, women are more likely than males to initiate divorce, presumably because they are more sensitive to relationship problems or gender-related power inequalities. Women's increasing economic independence has also allowed them to be more flexible to quit a marriage that isn't working for them. Infidelity is also frequent in older marriages, as per reports, but is generally a symptom of bigger difficulties. The cheating partner may claim that they have been unhappy for a long period because closeness has vanished and they don't feel valued. Bill and Melinda French Gates, as seen in 2019, 
revealed earlier this year that their 27-year marriage was coming to an end, and the divorce was completed earlier this month. Divorce, regardless of the circumstances, is practically always sad for both parties. According to research, one or both couples may have to relocate, and they will most likely miss the wonderful aspects of their marriage. In a statement to the public, Sonia and Del Curry confessed as much, calling the process of ending their lengthy marriage painful. In court filings, Sonia and Del Curry accuse another of cheating. The cheating claims surfaced in court records, implying that the separation between Warrior star Stephen Curry's parents would be more acrimonious than initially thought. New facts of Sonya and Del Curry's divorce have emerged, with the renowned NBA couple slamming each other back and forth accusations of cheating and Sonya Curry confessing to being in a new relationship. The details were revealed in court records acquired by TMZ, and they imply that the divorce between the Warriors and star Stephen Curry's parents will not be as amicable as they originally appeared when the news of their divorce after 33 years of marriage emerged. As per TMZ, Sonya Curry claims that Del Curry was unfaithful throughout their marriage with many women, and that his dishonesty was well known to family and close friends. Del Curry has alleged Sonya Curry of having an extramarital connection with a new retired New England Patriot, tight end Steven Johnson, and afterwards concealing about that as well, according to a latest statement from the TMZ. In a statement from the press, Stephen, Seth, and Seidel Curry's parents made no mention about the cheating allegations. Rather, the couple attempted to portray an acrimonious split that came a year after of deep consideration and trial separation as they had become renowned parental figures at their children's NBA games. According to TMZ, Sonya Curry filed for divorce on their home state of North Carolina on June 14 and the back-and-forth allegations in the divorce case began on June 14 as well. TMZ reports that she stated in her petition that her husband's marital misbehavior throughout their union. Dell reacted with his own court petition, saying that the founder of Montessori School committed acts of unlawful and inappropriate conduct prior to the divorce that lied about alleged events. According to Del Curry, Sonya was living in Johnson in Tennessee, which means she shouldn't be entitled to alimony. As per TMZ, her affair with Johnson began during the marriage and before the date of separation, and she lied to Del each time she cheated on him, he said. Sonya Curry responded to the news as reported by TMZ that the affair began months after she and Del formally divorced. She also said that she did not live with Johnson, a former Virginia Tech athlete, Rather, she was residing on her own since Dell won't allow her to live with them. In one final act of trying to shield Dell and the family from possible public exposure and condemnation, Sonya Curry claimed that she didn't divulge the gory details of his alleged betrayal at first. Dell Curry accused of betraying him, and she said she was left with no choice except to defend myself. Dell and Sonya had previously been a common presence in the stands during their children's games, but those days have seemingly passed. The Golden State Warriors and their supporters can only wish Stephen Curry and his family the best. All we can hope for is for all parties to reach an acceptable agreement that benefits everyone. That's it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed our video. Tell us in the comment section down below what you think about the couple's divorce. Thank you for watching the video till the end, and until then, we will meet you in the next one. Goodbye!